Disney has withdrawn its attempt to dismiss a wrongful death lawsuit filed by Jeffrey Piccolo, whose wife, Dr. Kanakporn Tongswan, died after suffering a fatal allergic reaction at Raglan Road, a restaurant in Disney Springs. The entertainment giant initially argued that Piccolo waived his right to sue by agreeing to arbitration clauses when subscribing to Disney Plus and purchasing theme park tickets. The motion sparked public backlash, leading Disney to reverse course and allow the case to proceed in court. In October Piccolo and his wife chose to dine at Raglan Road due to its reputation for offering allergen-free food, a critical factor given Dr. Tongswan's severe allergies to nuts and dairy. Despite assurances from the restaurant staff that her meal was safe, Dr. Tongswan suffered a severe allergic reaction, known as anaphylaxis, shortly after finishing her meal. Although she used an EpiPen to counteract the reaction, her condition deteriorated rapidly, leading to her collapse and eventual death at a nearby hospital. The medical examiner later confirmed that her death resulted from elevated levels of dairy and nuts in her system. Initially, Disney's defense rested on the argument that Piccolo had agreed to arbitration when signing up for Disney Plus in 2019, as well as when purchasing tickets for their theme park visit. This legal maneuver aimed to dismiss Piccolo's lawsuit in favor of arbitration, a process that typically favors corporations by limiting the ability of plaintiffs to pursue their cases in court. The argument ignited a public outcry, with many criticizing Disney for what was seen as an insensitive and overly aggressive legal strategy. Facing this backlash, Disney decided to withdraw its motion. Josh Damero, chairperson of Disney's theme park division, issued a statement emphasizing the company's commitment to resolving the matter in a sensitive manner. Damero stated, At Disney, we strive to put humanity above all other considerations. We believe this situation warrants a sensitive approach to expedite a resolution for the family who have experienced such a painful loss. Piccolo's attorney, Brian Denny, has been vocal about the broader implications of Disney's original legal strategy. He argued that it is absurd to think that more than 150 million Disney Plus subscribers have waived all rights to sue the company simply because of language buried in the service's fine print. The case has spotlighted the use of arbitration clauses in consumer contracts, which are often included without consumers' full understanding of the legal rights they may be relinquishing. Denny's response also touched on the importance of the Seventh Amendment, which guarantees the right to a jury trial in civil cases. He urged caution against corporate attempts to avoid jury trials through arbitration clauses, which are increasingly common in the terms and conditions of many services. With Disney's withdrawal of the dismissal motion, the lawsuit will now proceed in court. The case is likely to explore the responsibilities of both Disney and Raglan Road in ensuring the safety of guests with severe food allergies. Additionally, this case may set a precedent for how arbitration clauses are interpreted and enforced in wrongful death cases and other serious matters. The case has already led to the cancellation of an October 2nd hearing where both sides were set to argue their positions on the arbitration issue. As the legal battle continues, it is expected to draw significant attention, not only because of the tragic circumstances but also because of its potential impact on consumer rights and corporate accountability. For Disney, the case represents a critical test of its public image, particularly in how it handles legal disputes involving its guests. As Piccolo pursues justice for his wife's untimely death, the lawsuit also serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges faced by individuals with severe food allergies and the importance of rigorous safety standards in the hospitality industry. Oh,